What's going on guys, Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV and this is my bathroom. And you might be wondering, why are you in the bathroom? Well, we are actually going to review my toilet and more specifically, my toilet seat. This is the Amigo and I wanna thank the folks over there for sending this my way for testing. And I have not been happier with a toilet ever before. So let's dive into it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just just wait. Okay, now that we've got that over with, let's talk about the Amigo. It's not the first of its kind a DIY self-installed bidet. I mean, you can buy a ton of those on Amazon, as I did, for as low as $30. But what makes this different is all the little intricate parts in the actual toilet seat. So right from the get-go, it comes with a remote control. Not many toilet seats have that. And on the remote control, similar to a massage chair, you have all of your controls of the actual toilet seat, so you never really have to touch the seat with your hands at all. Very useful for that. And the other nice thing too is on the remote, you actually have two user settings, so you can have your own settings and somebody else can have their own settings. If you're not quite sure what you should do in what order or whatever, there's the let's go button, you just press that and away you go, or away it goes for you. Now what it's doing is a number of things. First off, the water jet that's coming out is actually coming from a nozzle that has seven different positions, which you control. The toilet seat itself is also heated, which you have control over the temperature of that heat. And it self cleans and self deodorizes. So right out of the gate, it sounds amazing. And it sounds almost 100% TP free. And it almost is. In my experience over the past month and a half or so, that wasn't 100% of the case. And without getting too specific, one of the big issues that I have with the toilet is that the actual, let's just say, opening itself, it seems fairly narrow. Like compared to the toilet seat that I actually had previously, this one, it, it, it feels like I'm very restricted in my movements. Whereas the other one felt like the actual opening was a little bit bigger. Now why you would need that, it's just something I personally got used to and then going to this, it seems smaller. It's not significantly smaller, but it's definitely noticeably smaller. When it came to the temperature controls and everything, I mean, that is all just kind of hit or miss. You just have to play around with the settings until you find the settings that you really want. But then the nozzle itself, what I noticed was if I brought the nozzle out all the way, it didn't always retract all the way back into the base of the toilet. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen, but it just seems weird to walk up to a toilet and you see this metal nozzle just kind of sticking out for no reason. So to put it back, I would, well, kind of just push it back in and we're trying to be hands-free here. And with regards to the deodorizer and the sanitization of it, I'm not quite sure. Um, personally, I got used to using poopery, but if the deodorizer does actually work, then I guess double the power for killing the airborne smelly bacteria, or at least the smells. But my comment before about this not being 100% TP free still stands. The air dryer comes with is really nice to have, but it is a very low powered air dryer. It's like if you go into a public restroom and it's not one of those like super loud accelerator. Like it's one of those air dryers where you put your hand underneath the air dryer and it takes another two to four minutes for it to actually start working. And that's what I was experiencing with this. While the water did its job very, very well, and more than likely the cleanliness in the gross business is all cleaned up, the drying part, I still had to reach for the TP to completely dry. I would argue it's still better to have the air dryer than not have the air dryer because now I'm using less toilet paper than I was before. So Amigo actually has two main products, the standard Amigo, which is the one that I have, and then the Amigo SL, which is like the baby brother, it, the Amigo SL does not have the warm air dry, doesn't have the ion sterilization, doesn't have any of that, but it is a little bit cheaper. And as it is already like $5.99 for the standard and $3.99 for the SL, it might be out of the range for your 
general user, but for some of you who really care about how comfortable you are while you're in there, you got to check out the Amigo. It is definitely something very, very different, and it's hard to go back. So, I hope that wasn't too specific. I hope the vagueness was vague enough that you took away the tech aspect of this instead of what's actually happening there. With everything said and done, I would say I'm glad there's no app. I don't know if they're working on an app. Um, I know a lot of us take our phones in there, but I like how there is a separate control that you get with a toilet seat and you have all those functions that you can control the toilet seat with. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments regarding the Amigo, please leave that in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description down below. And once again, thank you to Amigo for sending this my way. And we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late.